It's like The Walking Dead, Common Rider Edition. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider X8 Level Up Rider series, Genmu Zombie Gamer! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right up front here, we have the zombie, and up top we have the zombie, and over here we have the... Zombie! Zombie! And hey, look, there's Genmu. And on the bottom, you have the logo there for the Zombie Gamer. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other, and you have Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have the Zombie Gamer. And yes, this is uh, Genmu's uh, leveled up form, his upgraded form, and I absolutely love this suit design. This is definitely my favorite suit design of the series, so far anyway. Um, so far, my favorite suit design. I love this. This looks so cool to me. <laughs> but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Take a look at the head sculpt here. Very nice head sculpt. Done in white and black and silver with some trans clear and red right there for the visor. I, I did not know this was how the uh, how the helmet worked. I just thought he had a red and a blue eye, but no, <laughs> he actually has a red visor over his blue eyes, and the visor is just broken off on this side. You can see a little shard of it there in the corner, and uh, yeah, I, I did not know that was how the helmet worked, but you really can't tell looking at him on the show, so that's pretty cool. That's a cool effect, and he has some nice detailing here on the side, picked out in silver. It looks very good, and going down the body. You get some transclearant red plastic there for the chest piece. You can't really see what's going on back there too well, but you can kind of see his, his life gauge right there. And you get some nice silver paint right here. And the chest plate also has some nice silver detailing going around. And you got the buckle driver right there. Again, very, very nicely detailed. You do have some metallic purple right there up front, so that's nice. They painted it up a little bit. And going down the body here. You can see uh, they actually did uh, paint the strap, the belt strap silver, which is very nice. Uh, you got some silver detailings here, and some more of that white and black detailing there. Like an all zombie-ish and bone-like and very, very cool. That's more silver de detailings here. And some silver on the shoes. And going up the back here. Not a whole lot of paint. They did paint this, uh, this little section right here. So at least they painted something on his back. <laughs> there you go. You got this detailing here on the shoulder, which is picked out in silver. There you go. So you got some spiky bits on this side, and you don't get any spiky bits on this side. There you go. But yeah, very, very cool design. I, I love the design of this suit. Really, really do. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can wiggle, wiggle back. I'm a zombie! I'm a zombie, what you gonna do about it, what you gonna do, anyway. Um, he can't really look up just due to the collar here, so no real upward movement. He can look down a bit. Um, rotation, that's pretty much all you're gonna get before the collar gets in the way. That's not, that's not too bad. You get some decent rotation there. Uh, the arms can do a full 360. This side with the shoulder pad can move up about that far before you start to pop things off. And the other arm, you can move out that far. And you do have a bicep swivel. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have a wrist swivel. The hands can open and close. These two fingers are molded together, and these two fingers are molded together. And you have a waist swivel. The legs can go forward, that far, backward, only that far, outward, that far. You got your thigh swivel. You have your double jointed knee right there. And the feet are on a ball joint that can move up a little bit, down a little bit, get a bit of ankle tilt, and of course you have rotation. And there you go. Uh, just for a comparison, here he is with Genmu in his level two form. Just so you can see how they look together. And here he is with Xade, who <laughs> doesn't like to hold his weapon. <sighs> anyway, so there he is with Xade. Just so you can see how they look together. 
Well, there you go. Now, you can uh, plug any of the level 3 armors onto him. Uh, the Robot Gamer, the Beat Gamer, uh, the Combat Gamer, the uh, Sports Gamer. You can plug any of those armors onto him. But one thing you need to know is that to do that, you do have to remove the shoulder pad here. And uh, in the case of, I believe, the Robot Gamer, you will have to remove this uh, forearm pad as well. Um, and you will also have to remove the chest plate because this chest plate is a totally different mold and is a lot bulkier than the chest plates on the other riders. This one sticks out a bit further. So for things to sit properly on uh, on the zombie gamer here, you want to remove that chest plate. So, but other than that, he has all the connections. He has the slots in his shoulders. He has the ports on the shoulders here and on the forearms. So you can totally hook him up. You can also remove the buggle driver if you want to. It just tabs right on. So you can plug any of your other gamer armors onto him. Now one thing I will show off is uh, the Hunter Gamer. And again, the Hunter Gamer works, you know, not pretty much fine with him. I mean, everything snaps in the way it's supposed to snap in. We can plug that on. Plug on that piece right there. Brrr, he can do that. <laughs> Now the arm pieces don't fit perfectly. You can get them on. Um, you can get this plugged into the forearm just fine, but I've noticed that getting things plugged into the upper arm, sometimes that, I mean, it, it, it's, it's plugged in, you can't really see too well. It is plugged in, but it's not plugged in all the way as it should be. Um, but you can get things plugged in. See, like with this side, you can plug in the forearm, but I don't know if you can see. There you go. You can see that silver piece right there is kind of bumping up against that right there and not allowing this to sit all the way flush. You can kind of see the plastic is kind of flexing a little bit outward there. So you, you can get it on him, but a little bit of plastic flexing going on here. Um, the leg pieces, you can plug on him as well. You can see the ports there. Um, you can plug them on, but again, his shins here are a totally different mold and a bit bulkier, so you can't actually close this around his shin there. You can see it's just it's just not big enough to wrap around, so you get that little bit of gap there. So you can get the Hunter Gamer on him, but just some things are flexed a little bit, and these pieces will not close all the way. But there you go. I just wanted to show that off. Let's get all this off of them. Get, get off. Get, get, get off. Get, come on. Get, get, get. I said get. I said get. I, I said, I said, why do I sound like Foghorn Lakehorn? I said, I said, I said get. I said get off. Anyway. <clears throat> just put his chest plate back on. <laughs> put his shoulder pad back on. And his little forearm pad back on. There we go. And if you want to, you can give him the uh, the uh, Gashikon Sparrow that came with the Chambara Gamer, if you want to, since he is the one that uses these weapons now. You can totally give him that. And I think it's quite an appropriate weapon for him, since they are sickles and he is pure evil. So, you know, I feel like sickles are the perfect weapon for him. So there you go. <laughs> so you can give him those. And there you have that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, like, he doesn't include any weapons. Like I said, you can give him, if you have Chambala Gamer, you can give him the uh, Gashikon Sparrow if you want to, but he doesn't include any weapons of his own. Basically, what you see right here is what you get when you buy the Zombie Gamer. That's it. <laughs> so, he doesn't have a level 1 form, so there's no big face on his back, so there's no level 1-ing him. There's no turning him into a little pudgy man. It just no, that what what you see is what you get, and yeah. But all in all, though, um, very cool figure. Like I said, I love this design. My favorite suit design so far from this show, and very nice to have a little plastic representation of it because that just looks awesome. But 
<laughs> oh, here you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, there'll be a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my X8 playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Common Rider X8 Level Up Rider Series Genmu Zombie Gamer, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! <laughs> Alright, Xade, now you will be destroyed! You are no match for me now! I am invincible! I am immortal! You cannot defeat me! That may not kill you, but it was sure fun to watch. Hey, Easter egg, am I gonna get paid for that?